everybody, welcome back to E-Cubed. This video is brought to you by some new sponsors, some new patrons, some new investors, and I'm going to say thank you to those people at the end of the video, and I invite you. If you are not yet a sponsor, a patron, think about it. I'll talk about it at the end of the video. Today's expression, very good, it is something is dogging me. Something is dogging me. Yeah, dog, D-O-G, like, or, 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 no, that's only a cat. Anyway, to dog, boy, this, this has a lot of possible meanings. One meaning is to follow. So someone is dogging me, yeah, that could be somebody is following me. But usually, what it means is something is bothering me. Or someone is bothering me. My brother is dogging me. My brother is bothering me. My head is dogging me. Oh, you have a headache. It's bothering me. You can't concentrate. Why do we say dogging means bothering? Well, similar to the word dog is hound. H-O-U-N-D. A hound is a type of dog. Do you know Sherlock Holmes? Well, he has a bloodhound. And hounds are really good at following people. So as a bad guy, you want to run away, but the dog is following you. He's, he's bothering you. This is the idea. Everything is connected. So if something is dogging you, if you hear something, something is dogging me, it probably means something is bothering you. It's causing you mental stress or causing you physical stress, maybe physical pain. Do you understand? Let's check out a dialogue and it should be much easier to understand. Here we go. Did you work out today? No, my hamstring is dogging me. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, I'll take a few days of rest. Ah, oh, perfect example. Uh, do you exercise? You might. Uh, have you been running or maybe cycling? Well, this is your, uh, your leg, okay? And this is your thigh. And, and back here, uh, behind the leg, can you, if you feel behind your leg, so like, I don't know, this, this is the leg. This is your knee, okay? If you feel behind the leg, there's like some, it feels like, I don't know, some string or some cord, some rope, some lines, right? It's like, really tight. Well, these are, in the back of your leg, you have three muscles, and those muscles are called the hamstring muscles. And it feels like a string. It feels like a string, right? Yeah, a couple of strings. Well, if you, if you run and don't stretch, you might hurt your hamstrings. Your hamstrings might get pulled or... Yeah, that's not good. It's very painful. So my hamstring is bothering me. Actually, in the leg, you've got three hamstring muscles. But many people just say, my hamstring is dogging me. My hamstring is bothering me. I pulled my hamstring muscle. But once again, there's actually three muscles in the back, which are called hamstrings. So... My muscle is dogging me. My leg is dogging me. My ankle is dogging me. My head is dogging me. My brother is dogging me. Oh, my mom is dogging me. My boss is dogging me. My teacher is dogging me. My wife is dogging me. My husband is dogging me. Why is she a British woman? I don't know. My cat is dogging me. My cat is dogging me. <laughs> Bothering. It, it, it has many possible meanings, but I want you to know that a very common definition of dogging me is bothering me. Got it? So, it's a great conversation. It's a great uh, expression. I want you to create your own example. What is dogging you? Especially, is there something on your body that's dogging me? Maybe your throat. Oh, these days my throat is dogging me. It's, it's bothering me. It's hurting. And once again, especially if it's our body, it's hurting. Usually there's some pain involved. Okay? Great. Practice this dialogue. Practice with a friend. After the practice, 
I'm going to say thank you to a couple new patrons, and I'm going to invite you to. Let's check out those dialogues. Did you work out today? No, my hamstring is dogging me. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, I'll take a few days of rest. Did you work out today? No, my hamstring is dogging me. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, I'll take a few days of rest. Did you work out today? No, my hamstring is dogging me. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, I'll take a few days of rest. Okay, special thank yous to Maurizio. Cicogni, Cicogni. Oh, I'm so sorry. My pronunciation is probably horrible. Maurizio, thank you very much. To Sosangs Hop, Sosangs Hop, thank you very much. Eugenia Karpova, thank you very much, Eugenia. To Reiner Eitel Jorge, <laughs> I hope my pronunciation is okay. Reiner, thank you so much. And to Umberto Paradossi, thank you so much. Uh, these people are my new patrons, or they've adjusted their uh, sponsorship, and thank you so much. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, all it takes is one dollar a month. That's three and a half cents a day, and it comes to me about basically this is the reality uh, if you give me a dollar a month at the end of the month basically I get 70 cents there are taxes and charges and blah, 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 all this other stuff so uh, so anyway uh, basically three and a half cents a day if you can invest that amount 70 cents comes to me every month and 70 cents what can you do with 70 cents? You can't buy anything. No, you can't. But right now, we have 251 patrons. 251 of you guys. And some people uh, give a dollar a month. There's one person who gives a lot more. I don't know if I should mention the person's name, uh, but you know who you are. Uh, we have several students who are giving $30 a month, and for those students, I also give them classes. If they want PERF classes or DDM Lite classes, I give them those. Uh, we have a, a several students, I think there are nine students who are giving $15 a month, and to those students, I give a, a PERF lesson, a speaking lesson. So. Um, it's a great opportunity um, to get some lessons and at the same time to be helping me out. And uh, that, that's really important. This is my job and I'm just starting. I'm at the very, very beginning and I've got lots of plans, so many things that I want to do, but uh, there are not enough hours in the day. Um, I need to hire people, not just one person. I, I hope soon, well, not soon, we're a long way away, but I hope one day to be able to hire, first of all, an engineer, somebody who can help me edit the videos and podcasts. We need a website, uh, a regular full-time person on the website, not full-time, but somebody who can go there every day and update things. Right now, we're redeveloping our website. Uh, I need a bookkeeper. Uh, professional bookkeeper to help me out with bookkeeping and to make sure uh, students are are getting their requests and their questions answered. Um, I need more coaches. Uh, right now we've got Coach Miguel who's helping me out so much. Thank you very much Coach Miguel. I, I need to say thank you to the people who I am able to uh, work with right now. we got Miguel, we've got uh, Maxim, and we've got Santa, and Sue. These four people are extremely uh, valuable. They're, they're doing something every day to help us grow. And oh, so many things that I want to do. But as you know, any business uh, takes 
It takes some dinero. It takes some money. It takes some mula. It takes some cash. It takes some bucks. B-U-C-K-S. It takes some dollars. It does. And it's not cheap. Uh, because this is an English lesson related podcast, video, website, the people who uh, work with me basically need to be native English speaking ability, the engineers and things like that. And that means I need to hire an American. Uh, and I don't care where the American is, he or she can work online, but Americans are so damn expensive. <laughs> it's true. Um, so yeah, so we got a long ways to go. Right now, what, like I said, we have 251 uh, patrons and we're about $930, which is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys are helping me pay electricity, internet, lots of things, lots of things. Um, thank you so much. But we've got a long way to go. To be honest, uh, I need about 2,500 patrons. And we can do that. Absolutely we can do that. We have the numbers, okay? Even for our eCube video every day, we get about 500 people watching the video. That's awesome. Um, and then on our podcast, we've got the daily podcast and on average in a month, 500,000 listens, half a million listens. It's a big podcast. So we have the people out there, but ugh, some of you are students, some of you have no money, and I will not take your money. But once again, if you do have a dollar, you, you have to go online. Go here, www.patreon.com slash coachshane, and you have to sign up. And yes, it requires a credit card. Uh, or a debit card, whatever. But, once again, it's just a dollar, okay? The minimum is just a dollar. And, yes, you're helping me, you're, you're helping build our business, but at the same time, you are investing in your English education. And I take that investment very seriously. So, if you're not a patron yet, please join the other 251 patrons. Uh, all it takes is a dollar, and for many of you, I think a dollar is something you can do and forget about. For me, I that money comes and it helps create what you see, and I promise it will get better. So anyway, thank you so much to my new patrons. Uh, I promise to do my best for you. And for everybody and everybody else, if you're not yet a patron, please sign up and support Coach Shane, support the podcast, support the videos, support Let's Master English, and together, let's master English. Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.